Hey guys, I have a new video for you today, and this is a cool door thing that I came up with. This guy. Damn it, engine. So I'm here with a cool friend of mine named Engine, and he's on Crimson Stone, and he's an awesome guy who's funny and does videos Aww. and is not socially awkward in any way. And you should sub to him because not only is this video going out on his channel as well, uh, he's he's just a guy who does redstone and is cool like that and deserves more subs. And you're gonna be recording more soon, right? Uh, hopefully. Don't make me sing the video song again. I swear to God. I will don't sing do that. that at the end of this video. <laughs> don't do it. I swear to I'm gonna post that. At the end of this video. Okay. All right. Well, we have a door. We have a door, and the concept for this was made by Misa X Age. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And a video to his channel will be in the description below. Now, what this is, okay. is an inverted funnel door. As you see, we have this door thing here and this block sticking out. And it's Magical not a vault door. Lot. Alex will get in a jiffy if you say it's a vault door. It's a funnel door because it's not double-sided. Um, but one of the really cool things about this funnel door, actually this inverted funnel door that we made, is that... Here, you want to come on this side, Engine? We... You, also, you, you want to flick the lever? Or you want me to flick it? Oh, there we go. It is double-sided. So on this side, as you see, it is a regular funnel door. And if we go back to the other side, it is... Uh, hold on, unflick that. It is an inverted funnel door, and both sides are 100% seamless. No pistons, no redstone showing or anything. And, uh, yeah, that is a thing as well. So, we yeah. are going to be doing the tutorial now. We're going to be trying out a different format than what any of us have, well, either of us have done on our channels before. And that is, uh, it's going to be some cool time lapse going around in camera studio sort of thing. Thing. So I think we're just gonna cut to that now, right? And we'll yeah. be back in a second. Whoosh. Whoosh. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little thing that was a bit different than usual. Now, how, how does this thing work? You want to try to flick the lever one more time? There we are. Alright, so what just happened over here is this is the input block, obviously, and then that torch just powers everything in this line over here. And what that does is just powers these bottom two pistons and these three side pistons. Uh, and that torch is for something special later. Now what's also happening is this bud here is activating from that torch or dust or whatever might be activating. I'm not too sure myself. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> when that bud activates, it does funny things like that. That wasn't supposed to happen because it's not supposed to be like that now. But anyways, uh, when that yeah. bud activates, it activates this entire top circuit. Now we needed a two tick here. So this 
Sticky Pitsy wouldn't just spit the block out, it'll also grab it again uh, when it is opening. So to do that, as you see here, we have a cauldron. And the reason why we have a cauldron instead of a redstone block with a two tick repeater is because of this dust over here. Now this is also getting a direct input from this guy over here. And what that does is here is something that appears to be a hopper dropper monostable. Except it isn't since this is strongly powering this dropper which weakly powers that uh, um, yeah, weakly powers that hopper, so the item will stay in the hopper instead of going back down like a monostable would. And if we were to have a redstone block here uh, with a two tick repeater instead of this cauldron setup, then what will happen would be this uh, dust will be redirected, and it'll also always be constantly powering these two pistons, which would not be good. So to give this a two tick pulse uh, with the cauldron, what we did was we did not have a block there directly. We actually took the signal out to the side over here and that just gave another tick of delay through that repeater and that just made it a two tick signal. And that also got sent through this four tick repeater, which for one uh, extended that piston down and also activated this dual edge detector. And this is probably one of the most common uh, whatchamacallit, common downward double piston extenders nowadays anyways, except we modified it a little bit to work like this. Usually they're on the top and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, so this is a dual edge detector, and that activates the double piston. Basically this entire top part is part of a sticky, uh, not sticky bar, a sissy bar. Uh, if you haven't seen one of those, those are pretty popular as well nowadays. But anyways, this torch also is connected to the dual edge, and that just sends a 4 tick repeater here. Now this is pretty complicated to explain. Uh, usually you would just have a piston right where this piston head is, and then have like a piece of bedrock where I just placed that quartz right uh, in a sissy bar, but we decided that that's too mainstream. So we did something a bit more clever. What this is, is basically doing the exact same thing. So if I were to open this right now, what just happened was a whole bunch of timing logics uh, happened at once. Basically, this torch turned on, turning this piston on and preventing this piston from retracting that piston. And uh, if it did retract, it would spit the block out and funny things would happen here and that would not be good. So that just prevents it from activating on the wrong edge. And uh, what else happens when this closes? As you see here, that retracted because this turned off, which allowed this piston to be retracted. So that just retracted up. And then this repeater over here powered it, powered this piston when it was in the upstate right there. And that just pushed the block back, which is exactly what we needed to make it seamless. So I, I think that's about it. Anything you want to add, Engine? Uh, not really. You actually did fairly well explaining it. Yeah, and this was our first take, somewhat. Yeah, I, screw I, yeah, I, I kind of screwed up earlier when I didn't mention I was recording. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, check out Engine's channel. And yeah, I guess we'll be seeing you guys later. Bye. Yay. Do you want to make a video? Come on and let's record. You never post anymore, let's make a door, it's like you've gotten bored. You used to make them often, and now you're not. I wish you would at least try. So do you wanna make a video? Let's go and make a video. Please comply.